Hello, Cancer. Thank you for tuning into my channel. I definitely appreciate all the love and support, and I send it right back to you guys. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment if this reading resonates. Only take what resonates. It's not going to resonate with everybody, so do not force these messages to fit. With that being said, let's go ahead and see what messages are coming through for you guys at this time. Spirit of love and light, truth and clarity, please give me clear messages for a sign of cancer. So you guys have abundance and then you also have growth with perseverance. Y'all going to have a lot of people envying you. And then there's going to, you guys are going to have to make a decision regarding something. I'm getting that you guys may have like a fear over making the wrong decision, over regretting like the decision that you made. But I'm getting that the decision that you guys make, you're going to be very happy because the growth, like... You guys have overcame a lot of things here. And there's major growth. There's a lot of spiritual growth here, but it's just like growth in your life in general. And I'm getting that you guys are going to be faced with a decision here. And you're going to be kind of in your head whether you made the right decision or not. But it's going to be very evident to you that you made the right decision. You made the right choice. And you're going to end up being very happy with the decision that you made. Um... You guys have overcame a lot. I'm getting, you guys were faced with a lot of challenges. And it's like, now you guys are right at that peak where it's just like, you're about to just, it's going to be like a easy, easy slope. It's like, y'all are at the climax. Some of you guys are past it, but it's like, you guys are finally at the top of that mountain. Now it's time for things to just flow naturally for you. Because you guys have just persevered through a lot. Now you will have that abundance that you guys have been working hard for. I'm getting like marriage life for a lot of you guys. A lot of you guys have been wanting like that committed relationship and you guys are finally about to have that. I'm getting some of you guys already know someone new is in your life and it's just like y'all are just waiting for the signs that this is the right person, but it's going to be very evident to you. And then some of you guys are even working towards a career here and it's like you're putting a lot of work and effort towards something here. And you guys, it, it could have been a point where you felt like giving up because it didn't feel like things were growing. Um, it didn't feel like things were, it felt like things were not progressing with whatever you guys were putting effort towards. But you didn't give up. You kept pushing like for growth in this area. You kept working towards it. And now you guys are about to reap the rewards of your hard work here. There are going to be... I'm getting, some of you guys may be dealing with it now. Some of you guys may be feeling like alone because you had to like remove a lot of people out of your life here. And the thing is, I'm getting that you guys found your strength in your alone time. You found your strength. And on top of it, you guys are no longer willing to tolerate certain relationships anymore. Because it's like, I'm better off without that type of energy around me. You guys are awakening to the true characteristics of certain people here. It's like, I see you for who you truly are and I'm not willing to be around it anymore. You guys are going to have these people coming back towards you as things are progressing in your life because they're going to want to be a part of like the attention that you're getting, the success that you have. They're going to want to, and these are the ones that are going to be like, yeah, re remember that time we did this? Or remember that time I did this or that for you? Is this just, let me, I, I'm sorry. I had this like positioned on the table leg. So it's like every time I'm moving, it's just moving. I'm sorry about that, y'all. But I'm getting that you guys are going to have those people coming towards you. And it's like, as you guys become successful, they want to bring up, oh yeah, remember, you know, try to put themselves, trying to make themselves relevant because they messed up. They want your forgiveness. But instead of acknowledging what they did wrong, they're trying to be nostalgic. Okay, Cancer, y'all. There 
there's someone here. Some of you guys already know this person, but they, you guys have the lovers here. Some of you guys will have a decision to make when it comes to love. You're definitely gonna have a choice for a lot of you guys regarding love. As I'm saying, you guys are having to stand your ground and walk away from a particular situation. Why am I saying you guys have the Eight of Cups in reverse and the Hierophant? So the Eight of Cups in reverse talks about staying stuck in a particular situation that you are not happy in. And then with the Hierophant in reverse, there's a difference of values here. Like you, you guys don't value the same things here. This is someone that's like, you're realizing that you don't connect with this person on a spiritual level, but you guys continue to entertain this energy. Someone is also non-committal as well. It's, it's like not one of the same things when it comes to a relationship. But this is someone that you have a lot of love for. And with the five of swords here, you had to stand your ground when it came to this person. And it may have came across like a little harsh as well. see cancer you guys are showing up you guys could be dealing with a fire sign here i'm getting airy leo sagittarius or gemini strong uh, strongly but you guys why am i saying it? it's someone coming towards you they find you very attractive here and they're about to make you an offer for a long-term commitment here You guys are going to have a decision to make because why am I saying you guys have the devil in reverse? Y'all have someone from your past that you are missing, but you guys are like withdrawn from this person. You're either trying to fully disconnect from this person, but at the same point, I'm getting the sense of you guys like still trying to get over this person. Like y'all have not been entertaining other relationships because you were like still energetically attached to this person and like this person i'm getting is like you guys just knew for sure like they were your happy ending only to be like severely disappointed by this person and i'm also getting this like y'all overlook some connections here because it's like you were trying to wait for this person to come back towards you because there's a decision that you need to make. There's something that you're not seeing here as well regarding a decision that you need to make. There's something that you don't see. Intentionally delaying taking action towards you. Okay, let me see. This person intentionally holds back their um, emotions from you. They're intentionally like holding back and delaying things. Because there's a not receiving the good news that you were expecting out of a particular situation. Because there's two, it's, it's like they're indifferent. They're indifferent. I'm getting that you guys were hoping for a new start in a particular situation. You have two pages here. There is good news coming towards you, but then there's also disappointment in another situation. So you guys have good news from someone new that's going to spark your interest. And then you also have disappointment here from someone in the past. And I'm getting that you guys are going to strongly realize here that this person, their intentions are not good. They don't have good intentions towards you. It's going to become very clear for you. Because it's, it's like realizing like they're holding back on their emotions. I'm definitely getting that this person does have emotions towards you, but at the same point, I'm not getting that they have good intentions. If they were to come back, 
they don't have good intentions because they're the magician in reverse. They're coming up as the king of cups in reverse and the magician in reverse. So an emotional wreck here on top of it. Meanwhile, you're balancing things out in your life and you guys are learning to be more open and vulnerable with potential suitors. You have realized there's a lot of, you guys have realized like how you have sabotaged relationships in the past. You guys have learned from your mistakes in the past here. Cause I'm saying that it's like, um, you guys like hesitated to open up and be vulnerable towards people here, but it's like now you have learned to allow yourself to be vulnerable towards new potential suitors. And now you have the emperor here, but with the queen of swords. So I'm getting that you guys are aware of someone new. It's like you guys have met someone new already. But I'm getting, some of you guys, there could be an age difference between the two of you, but you did not see the potential in this relationship. Only to find out there, there's a lot of growth and this person is the full package here. Some of you guys will end up having children with this person because you guys are awakening to a connection here. You have your guard up with this person, but they, the this person that you guys are attracting, they, it is what it is when it comes to this person. They want a stable, long-term commitment. They're not looking to play around with it. I mean, this person, they are, it's like they work hard, they're dedicated, they're loyal, it's like they're committed, and they just want a solid relationship. They just want to make sure whoever they are in a relationship with are on the same page as them. This is someone who doesn't play around. It's like they're very mature here. They some some like they could have been married before or at least in a long-term commitment uh, before. And this person is very sure about themselves and they know like where they stand in a relationship and what they want out of a relationship. You guys are about to meet someone. You you are going to be on the same page as this person. You're going to be on the same page as this person. And then it's going to be someone, because you guys are going to decide not to give into a connection anymore here. You're going to be leaving someone out in the cold. Some of you guys, you could have multiple offers here, but you're definitely going to be leaving someone out in the cold here. This is their karma. Because I'm getting at this person. They showed someone over you in the past. And it's like now they're getting their karma. They're getting their justice when it comes to this connection. I'm getting. It's like. You thought someone like didn't have feelings towards you in the past. But the truth is. It's like you intimidated this person. They felt like you could do better than them. So they acted out they allow their insecurities to dominate the way that they were truly feeling if that makes sense to you guys yeah because this person could not get out of their head in order to make a decision to come towards you they kept going and then only to miss out on their opportunity they took too long because they didn't have the courage to come towards you they kept holding back communication they want to come back towards you but it's like now they realize that it'd be a waste of time. There is a major change coming towards your life here, a major change. And you guys will be celebrating this new um, beginning in your life, this change that is about to occur. You guys will not be tripping off the relationships and the heartache that you went through in the past because this offer that is about to be made to you, is gonna be too good. It's gonna be too good. And it's, it's gonna be, you guys have the lovers, you have the queen of pentacles and the two of cups. This offer, because someone from the past is gonna be coming back towards you want a new beginning. Y'all gonna be like, no, you're not headed in that direction anymore. Y'all, it's like, you know what you want. There is someone that's about to make offer to you. And I'm getting that this person is actually more like spiritually uh, elevated than you, or they at least are at a higher phase in their life or something here. 
there's major accomplishments also coming in for you guys and this is regarding work yeah will of fortune as well your only advice is don't give up when the going gets tough don't give up because it's going to shock some people and you're going to have some people being very envious about the achievements that you guys have accomplished in your life because it's like finally you guys are closing out some cycles and achieving some major goals here and it's going to intimidate a lot of people but you guys have put a lot of effort towards something in order to change your life around for the better. y'all have the sun card you guys are about to be like at a very happy phase in your life coming shortly here okay let's see love and messages do you have spirit about to make you their person you guys are going this is a major change that's taking place i'm getting for some of you guys strongly here there is someone that it's like y'all were saying this is y'all it, it's like y'all realize there was a connection between you and this person because y'all have false person in reverse and the rest of your cards are all upright you have unexpected income main female family room and change and after change, you have marriage. So what is about to change in your life? You're about to be in a committed relationship. Distant horizon. Some of y'all are not even going to be working anymore. Some of y'all will not be working anymore. When you marry this person, when you are in a, a, a relationship with this person, y'all won't be working nine to five anymore. This person, because you have unexpected income, some of you guys, it's because you weren't expecting this relationship to turn into um, the love of your life or a long-lasting relationship. Because I'm getting this, you guys were saying with a particular person, like, no, nah, we're just friends. It's nothing more to this relationship. We're just friends. I don't, I don't look at them like that. Y'all don't realize, like, nope, this is your person. Cause I'm seeing y'all moving in with someone. Cause someone sees you as like their main person. Like they want to make you their main person here. I'm not getting like they were entertaining other relationships, but it's like they see you and they know that they want to be with you. They know they want to be in a relationship with you. So I'm seeing you guys moving in with someone. This is someone that you feel very comfortable with. You feel very close to this person. Because I'm getting that started off as a friendship for some of you guys here. And then it developed into something more. Okay. You know you being so extra. Yes, y'all are working hard towards something here. Y'all have the Eight of Pentacles showing up again, leading to the Ten of Cups. There's going to be people trying to compete with you, but y'all going to stand your ground when it comes to this. Y'all going to come out on top. It's very good news coming towards you. You guys, you, you are being intuitively guided towards something new here. There will be a decision to make to redraw to withdraw from um, a particular situation here and to head towards something new to release the baggage of the past. 
yeah because you guys definitely there's some confusion about an offer coming in for you you guys are going to want to make sure it's definitely a choice and love you guys have a lover as well but you're gonna have to turn down someone else here money is looking good wherever you guys are working hard towards don't give up especially the ones out there that are working towards like your own business is going to pay off for you in a major way so don't give up overcome the obstacles that you guys are being challenged with because you're going to be very happy that you did and then there's also a committed relationship coming in for you guys but you'll have a decision to make whether to continue to entertain this past person that's coming back I'm getting this person is coming back and they're just gaslighting you. They're not going to um, stick around. This person is not sticking around. They're just coming back. They see you doing well. They want to be a part of it. And that's it. But they're not going to stick around for a long-term committed relationship here. That's it. I'm going to leave it there. These are the messages that are coming through for you guys at this time. If this reading resonates, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. With that being said, you all take care.